Welcome back, future criminologists. In this video, I will be discussing documentary evidence. Before discussing what is documentary evidence, let us define first the word document. Document. A document is a deed, instrument, or other duly notarized paper by which something is proved evidence or set forth. Ang isang dokumento ay isang kasulatan, instrumento o nanatoryahang papeles na nagpapatunay sa isang bagay. Now, what is then the meaning of documentary evidence? Documents as evidence consist of writings or any other material containing letters, words, Numbers, figures, symbols, or other modes of written expressions offered as proof of their contents. The definition stated was already amended by the 2019 proposed amendment to the Revised Rules on Evidence, Administrative Matter Number 19-08-15, which will take effect on May 1, 2020. The amendment states that documents as evidence consist of writings, recordings, photographs, or any material containing letters, words, sounds, numbers, figures, symbols, or their equivalent or other modes of written expressions, offered as proof of their contents. The amendment now includes recordings and photographs, and any other material containing sounds, or their equivalents. What does photograph include? Photograph includes still pictures, drawings, stored images, x-ray films, motion pictures, or videos. Ang mga bagay na to ay considered documentary evidence kapag inaalok mo ito bilang patunay sa kanilang nilalaman. For example, if a tape recording is played to show that particular words were uttered, it will constitute a documentary evidence. However, if it is played to simply show that words were uttered in a particular accent, then it is an object evidence. Yung una kasi ino-offer mo yung recording para ipakita na yun ang sinasabi niya o yun ang nasabi niya ng mga panahong ni-record ito. Basically, it deals with the content of the recording. Ang pangalawa naman, para ipakita na ganun siya magsalita o ganun ang paraan ng kanyang pananalita. Sa pagkakataon na ito, hindi mo pinapakita kung ano ang laman ng recording. Next, may a private document be offered and admitted in evidence both as documentary evidence and object evidence? The answer is yes. A private document may be offered and admitted in evidence both as documentary evidence and as object evidence depending on the purpose for which the document is offered. If offered to prove its existence, conditions, or for any purpose, other than the contents of a document, the same is considered as an object evidence. When the private document is offered as proof of its contents, the same is considered as documentary evidence. The document may be offered for both purposes under the principle of multiple admissibility. Requisites for admissibility of a documentary evidence First, the document should be relevant. 
Second, the documents should be authenticated and proved in the manner provided in the rules of court. Third, the documents should be identified and marked. And fourth, they should be formally offered to the court. Let us discuss the first requisite. The document should be relevant. What do we mean by relevant? It means that the evidence must have such a relation to the fact in issue as to induce belief in its existence or non-existence. To be considered relevant, it must have some reasonable tendency to help prove or disprove some fact. Yung evidence na yun ay may bearing sa outcome ng kaso. Now to the second requisite, the document should be authenticated and proved in the manner provided in the rules of court. As to documents, authentication is the process of proving that the document presented in court is not spurious, falsified, or questionable, or that it is not a different document. Rule 132 of the Rules of Court governs the rule in authenticating documents. From it, we will learn that public documents are admissible without further proof of their due execution, whereas private documents must be authenticated. I will discuss in detail Rule 132 in a separate video. Next, the third requisite, the documents should be identified and marked. The first step when you want to offer something into evidence at trial is to have it marked for purposes of identification. Marking an exhibit for identification once it is formally logged by the court clerk places it under the court's custody and control until it's released by the court order or destroyed. How to mark an exhibit? Mark them on their face by using an exhibit stamp, a gum label, or a written notation. For example, Sasabihin ni prosecutor sa court, We pray that the medical legal issued by Dr. Juan de la Cruz will be marked as exhibit D. After that, susuratan nila yung medical legal sa upper right side ng Exhibit D. Last requisite, they should be formally offered to the court. If the evidence is not offered to the court, the evidence will not be considered by the court. Such offer may be made orally or in writing, sufficient to show that the party is ready and willing to submit the evidence to the court. When a party offers a particular documentary instrument as evidence during trial, he must specify the purpose for which the document or instrument is offered. He must also describe and identify the document and offer the same as an exhibit so that the other party may have an opportunity of objecting to it. For example, sa hearing or trial ng kaso, sasabihin ng prosecutor, the state offers the following pieces of evidence and their corresponding purposes. Exhibit A, Drug Dependency Request Form, consisting of one page dated February 1, 2020 and signed by Police Inspector Juan de la Cruz. Exhibit A is offered for the purpose that the subject person is a drug user. This topic is related to Parole Evidence Rule, Best Evidence Rule, and secondary evidence, which I will discuss in the future. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.